All right, guys, set up out here on a nice, calm spring morning. I'm starting out anchored up uh, on a point. Uh, it's pretty calm, not a lot of wind, slight breeze from the west, but uh, we had some storms come through last night, uh, a lot of lightning, good bit of rain. It's got the lake nice and calm this morning, though, so we're going to get some baits out. Got some cud bait, got some chicken. We're going to see if we can stick one out here on this point before the sun gets up. Bit bigger piece of bait here, eight alt hook here from Hooker's Terminal Tackle. Get that scale off of there, a little black rattle. We're just gonna fan cast these things out around this point. See where they're at. We got some shallow water here, we got some deep water behind us. We're just gonna put them around, see if uh, the fish can tell us where they at. This is all white perch here. Caught out of the lake, freshly killed. Pretty shot there with that sun coming up in the background as that line goes screaming off of that ancient mariner reel. Hellcat Ross, 30 pound Andy line, my standard go-to. And I got all Santee rigs. Why Santee rigs? Well, that's what I got on the rods right now. So it's gonna be a little bit big a piece of bait here for this float to hold up. I don't think it's gonna hold it, but we're gonna chunk it out there. If it hits the bottom, it hits the bottom. It ain't the end of the world. Yeah, it's just a nice little early morning fishing strategy, trying to get up here uh, set up before the sun gets up, sky gets bright, seeing if any of these fish are coming up relatively shallow. I'm not super shallow today. I've actually pulled out further on this point, so it may mean that I catch fish later uh, as they start to pull out. The one thing I'm noticing, I'm seeing topwater action going on out here. It's offshore. Uh, I don't know uh, if, you know, here recently I've been fishing a lot of stuff right on the bank, but I'm noticing a lot of stuff offshore more now. So maybe some of these fish are pulling back. Uh, you know, that's part of fishing. Uh, for catfish you got to uh roll with the punches stuff changes uh it, it what works for a while probably isn't gonna last you know forever it's not gonna last for months so you got to be able to adapt that gets tougher for you guys that are bank fishing that's fishing you just got to keep at it let's see if we can stick one guys i think this green hellcat's going looks like a fish has run off with it reel on him yes sir hooked up pretty shot against the sunrise there we go. We hooked into one. Nice job, oh, baby. Hooked up. Been here probably 15 minutes. Stuff fan casted out. This is about where the point starts to roll off. So it's not, uh, it's probably 15, 20 feet of water. So it's not super deep. We got a 45 foot river channel here. So it's not super deep, but it's not shallow either. So. See what we got. I'm betting it's a blue. Betting we got a blue, yes sir. Let's see if I can bug a grip him. Semi, semi sassy, semi sassy, semi sassy. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice fish there. Heck yeah, good blue. Getting a little coloration to it not really scarred up or anything but got some good color healthy fish nice and thick in the back end it's gonna go back alive nice blue cat uh starting to get some of that darker coloration uh we're staging up for the spawn here it's a few weeks away now fish around scattered we caught some males yesterday that were beat up pretty good they're uh they're a little more uh Mm, it's a little more violent world for them, but uh, yeah, nice fish. That's the first one. Came up uh, kind of where the point starts to roll off. So we're just gonna see what happens here on this point uh, with these fish moving up here. These places can be hit or miss. Uh, you can be hero or zero. It just depends on what's going on with the fish. Sometimes you miss the bite when they're feeding and uh, you know, sometimes you're there when it's on fire, so. We got one uh, skunks out of the boat. Actually, the skunk was out of the boat earlier. I've got a perch rod down with some little pieces of red worm on it. And I actually caught two channel catfish. I didn't even film some small ones. So we got that skunk out of the boat. So if I can get a flathead, I'll have a Lake, a Lake Wiley slam, which would be great. That's all three species of blue, a flathead in the channel. So ain't a bad start catching some fish. Uh, hopefully we can get a bigger rod to bend with a little bigger one. Yeah. 
See if I got one on this outside planer. It went flying, lunging back. Can't tell if there's, yep, yeah, there may be a fish on there. Couldn't tell if it was hooked up on something or just got stuck on something. Planer board's coming in with resistance. We'll see. This is a piece of cut bait. This is acting like a fish. We swam out to the side. The long drag we've made. Uh, I tried fishing up on a point, moving around from where I was anchored up originally, from where I caught that last fish, and never got on it. He's coming deep. Never got on any, and I uh, pulled out here. And I'm dragging now. I've been dragging probably a quarter of a mile. Finally got hooked up. Caught a bunch of channel catfish in here uh, on some of my perch rods. But this is the first fish of any decent weight. Ah, got him. That was actually one of my big perch heads I had out there. He got into another line. I think he's in this other planter board. We're gonna have a mess here, but let me get him in the boat. I got my gripper on here. Good looking fish. 31 inches, got it weighed, about 14 pounds. Nice blue cat. I'm saying female. My biologist might argue with me, but good blue came on a big piece of bait. That was a big perch head I had out there suspended, dragging it through there. Finally got on to him out here. I only still only about 12 feet of water, but I'm way offshore. So get this one back alive. Let's see, if we can find some more in here. All right, guys, that was a pretty nice blue cat. Like I said, I anchored on that place where I caught that first fish, sat there for a while, had one more small bite, moved closer to the bank just to eliminate that water up shallow. Sat in about eight feet of water, was casting up to the bank. Fan cast around through there, never had a sniff there. Sat there for about 45 minutes and decided to uh, pull out the uh, planter boards and do some trolling through here. And I started catching some channel catfish, small channel catfish on my perch rods. I didn't even film them. These were 12, 13 inch fish uh, hitting those very small baits. And uh, then finally, boom, hit that one. And kind of as we got toward the backside of the hump, starting to roll off of it a little bit. So that was a good fish about, you know, 13 pounds, a uh, nice one um, and getting healthy and ready for the spawn. So I'm gonna keep dragging through here. This is gonna roll off into a deep water flat adjacent to the river channel. A little bit of prospecting just to see if anything is out here. I don't expect a lot on the flats yet. You never know. So sometimes uh, when this stuff starts to shift, you gotta kind of make some adjustments and uh, you know, make some moves and try to figure some stuff out. But we'll talk more about that in a minute. Let's see if we can stick another one. Guys, we may have a small fish on Pinky here. Outside planter board. Yep, that is a fish. Maybe bigger than I thought. He's just not hitting aggressive. We've had uh, a couple of fish that, even that last fish was uh, kind of a subtle bite. It was not a horrendous slam it down kind of bite. This one just kind of went back a little bit with some flicking. So I don't know. We'll take them any way we can get them. This one is on chicken. Last one was on that big piece of cut bait. This is on chicken. I decided it's the first time I've been fishing with chicken in a while out here. Uh, I have been using a lot of cut bait, anchoring up shallow, trying to hit some of these flatheads and big blues that are feeding up shallow here in the summer or spring, I should say early spring. And uh, it's been paying off. Today, it did not. So I'm not sure if anything's changing. Fish are repositioning, maybe because of some of the spawning is over with some of these, uh, some of these bluegill, crappie, shad, that kind of stuff. So, all right. Nice channel catfish. This is a channel cat. There he is. Thing. That's a good looking channel cat. That is bigger than the other little ones we've been catching in here. We don't get really big, big channel cats in here anymore, but that's a better one. These other ones were, well, you saw that one little bitty thing. It's a decent sized channel catfish there. 
pretty fish. Get a measurement on it and get a weight. And we're gonna get it back. Bam, there's a channel catfish that is of decent size. That's actually a decent looking channel catfish, at least for our lake. We don't have giant channel cats here, but it hit it good and it was pulling. So uh, that dark color, uh, they're coming into their spawn time too. Uh, I think some of them are spawning already. Uh, they seem to be the first ones to go here on our lake. So they had kind of disappeared. And that may explain why I caught so many of these young juvenile channel catfish today. But yeah, just keeping pulling across here. Like I was saying earlier, you kind of have to kind of make some adjustments um, and, and try not to get married into where the fish are supposed to be and what they're supposed to be doing. I'm very guilty of doing that sometimes. Uh, a lot of times I'll try to fish where I think they should be or where they were a year ago or two years ago where I think I remember them being. So sometimes you got to cover some water. Uh, look for fish, mark fish. They're not always fish that are eating. That's the bad part. But we got a little bit of everything. I'm onto this flat. I'm not feeling really good about it. Uh, it looks like there's some colder water toward the bottom based on the uh, sonar pictures, almost like there's a thermocline. I doubt it's a dead thermocline this early in the year, but it looks a little denser on the bottom. So uh, I'm gonna pull it for a while, uh, but I'm not giving a lot of time here. I'm gonna get back up in some of that medium depth water because I think that's where the fish are. I think that's where the catfish are that are staging up the spawn. And that's where I'm gonna kind of Try to focus my energy. I think we got one going on some cut bait here. Boom, got him. Got him, hooked up, hooked up. Not a giant, but pretty sure it's a blue. Pretty sure, pretty sure. We're gonna be shocked if it's another channel catfish. <laughs> At least on these rods. I just put some uh, red worm on my perch rod. A lot of times this time of the year, postponed for the perch, they won't hit cut bait. They're keyed in on, they'll eat red worms. There's something in it that excites them. It's just, I say it's not a channel catfish. Oh, no, it is a small blue, small blue. It's all right, right there, folks. Never trust a catfish with his fins down. Never trust them, never trust them. You gotta be careful when them fins are down. Oh, we got my bait, I want my bait back. I want my bait back. Oh yeah, there we go. Little bitty fella. Man, we found a little fish today. Get a weight and a length, chunk him back. I will say this, it's interesting how many smaller fish we're catching today. We've had uh, pretty good trips, pretty good guy trips out here uh, catching fish. Um, nothing crazy crazy, but we've had a lot of fish in the teens, a lot of double digit fish, very few fish under eight pounds. And then today, man, it's totally different. And this changed just from yesterday. Uh, had some guys out yesterday. I think we ended up with 10 fish, so like four in the teens. It was a great day of fishing. Today, I don't know, now I am fishing a different area, a different part of the lake. Is something different down here? Could be. Uh, are fish spawning down here? I don't know, maybe, I doubt it. I still think it's a little bit early. Uh, or are they just not feeding? One thing I have kind of noticed is that it seems like there has been a little better bite for the bigger fish later in the day so i don't know there's a lot of variables it, it, it's like i've said you just got to fish you can try to figure it out it's fun to play with it's 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 fun to think about and come up with ideas but the bottom line is you got to get out here and fish you got to get out here and try to catch them and uh hope that you stick one um you know some days it works some days it doesn't it's hard to time your days it's like time in the stock market it's hard to time it uh to get in at the bottom and get out at the top uh you know you don't know when it's gonna happen so get out and fish as much as you can enjoy the time on the water enjoy the time outdoors and just hope you're there at the right time to stick a big one.